not to say um a gazillion times as it was pointed out to me on my previous video that that is very annoying. So I've come a little more prepared and I will try to do this without saying that word at all. We're very minimal. <laughs> so we've had our Intex spa for about five months. Uh, we've not had, see I just said it. Did you hear me? I just said it. Oh my word. I have such a problem with saying that word. If you have the same problem, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's such a bad habit. We've not had any problems with this spa. The only, I guess you could say, problem that we had was on the control panel there. It gave us an error message. It wasn't working. Come to find out, it was our outlet. We had flipped a breaker or something. We got that fixed and it was no problem. So nothing that was wrong with the actual hot tub. So come over here. If you can see right there where it says C, underneath that is one of the filters. Over here is another filter. There's two of them. And then right above that filter is where the water, the hot water comes in. We have not had to replace these filters yet. We have cleaned them out a few times. We just use our water hose sprayer and spray them out real good and that has worked great. However, we're fixing to get into the cooler months. We're probably going to be using the hot tub more often, so I'm sure we'll probably replace them pretty soon. That is our chlorine floater that came with the hot tub. We just use one inch chlorine tablets. Just put one in there and one is good for gosh like a week or two at least so this has been very low maintenance for us especially through the summer we've not had to use a whole lot of chemicals it may be different in the cool months when we're using it more often I'll probably do another update whenever we've used it through some cooler months and see if we've had to use a lot more chemicals or anything like that speaking of cooler months this also comes with this thermal ground cover here, which they recommend that you set this on a hard surface like a patio or a deck or something. It says not to set it on the ground. I'm going to say maybe that's just because, you know, the ground can give some. It's not necessarily level. It might still be okay if that's the only place you had to put it. But it does come with this ground cover. It's supposed to keep the cool temperatures from coming up through the bottom and cooling your water off. So this over here is the cover for it. Um, it's inflatable. It's not as durable as the side of the pool. I'm sorry, the side of the hot tub. We have a pool over here also. That's what I was thinking about. Uh, the side of the hot tub is very, very durable. Me and my husband can both sit on it and it's, it's so durable. Like you wouldn't think something inflatable could be that durable, but it is. The cover, however, is like a regular, it's kind of like a regular a flotation device like if you've got something to float on in your pool it's the same kind of material so you know it doesn't have to be as durable to inflate these the pump area right here the cover of this on the front side uh, completely comes off and you actually use the pump to inflate both the hot tub and the cover if you can see all along the bottom here it's really sunny I don't know how well you can see it you can see all the little holes along the bottom that's where the air comes out to make the bubbles I will go ahead and turn the bubbles on for you show you the control panel here real quick if it'll focus my camera is not wanting to focus there we go I don't know if you can really see the temperature on there I think ours right now is 104 it was 103 earlier that's and the heater's not on like if you see this green flame that means the heater is not on when it's red that's when it's on it's just heated up because it's so hot it's really hot here in Texas and so that's what that means you can I mean if I wanted to turn the heater on I can hit that button there and you see I don't know if you can really see no I, that just turned it off so I guess oh that's why because it's already up to temp 104 is the hottest temperature you can get it at so of course power button these are to control your temperature up or down. Uh, this is your filter button, which if you hit that, that's going to shut the pump off, which you don't want to do that unless you're, unless it's empty, obviously, which then you're just going to have the whole thing unplugged. But it's going to get really nasty if you don't run the filters. And then here's your bubbles. 
Uh, of course, that was the heater, and then you can just toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So I'll go ahead and turn the bubbles on so you can see. So the bubbles are kind of noisy, but they're very relaxing. It's not like having a jet on a standard hot tub where you can sit in front of the jet and have it directed at a sore spot or something in your back. It's not like that, but the bubbles are very soothing and relaxing, so it's still very enjoyable. We're very much looking forward to getting in this once the weather cools off. So that is the hot tub let me go ahead and I'll just show you for those of you who didn't see my first video I don't have the cover on right now but this is the the latch that the hot tub goes down into this right here is a lock uh, it actually came with a little key and you stick it in there and you can turn it so that you can't push the sides in we don't really ever lock it we have a three-year-old and a seven-year-old and even my seven-year-old when it's unlocked she can't really squeeze us hard enough to get it open so it's not a concern of ours really and then there's these nice little handles here so when it's empty and you're trying to move it around it's very easy to carry there's one on the other side as well so I believe that's it for the actual hot tub I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and go through the chemicals and stuff that we use just if you're curious as to what kind of things you might need to purchase for this I'll show you what we've used and what's worked best for us also, we've got this pool over here. I believe it is, no, it is not Intex brand. It's Summer Escapes brand. Intex has one similar to it, but this one was cheaper. If you would like for me to do a product review on that, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or a comment below, and I can do a product review on that as well. And